Hello, underachievers. Oh yeah, I'm in a different room. I've moved house. This is my new room. It's very pretty. We've got the vinyls. We've got posters. We've got double bed. I could do a room tour if you want, but I've literally moved in yesterday and there's not much in here, but... So yeah, today I thought I'd talk to you guys about the dark side of testosterone, the side of testosterone that no one talks about. Well, actually, I'm sure some people talk about it, but like, I'm gonna brand it as if they don't because I don't want the views. So yeah, obviously when you start testosterone, it makes you kind of want to kill yourself less, and you look a lot hotter, you sound a lot hotter, you just feel a lot better. But there are some downsides, which I'm gonna talk about. So the first downside is a big one for me, maybe it's not for everyone, um, I think this only kind of counts towards people that are on like shots. So the type of testosterone I'm on, I do my shot every three weeks, but a few days before your next shot is due, you feel like shit. Like literally, you're tired, you're depressed, you're, 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 you're grumpy, um, I get really sweaty, I get hot flashes. That was a grinder notification. So the science behind that is pretty much when your T levels are low, your body starts going, bleh, I need more T, bleh. It's like, like a bit of a, you know, like every three weeks or so I'll have like this thing in my brain where I'm just like, hey, maybe, maybe I am still sad. Maybe, maybe life isn't worth living, but it's literally just because I'm low on tea. So that would have been a fun thing to know, but I know it now. Can't do anything about it. <laughs> now, the next thing about testosterone that you should know about, and I'm pointing at you, like, honestly, you need to know this. I get the worst hot flashes. If you don't know what a hot flash is, or, or a hot flush, I don't really give a shit what it's called. It's just where you're just minding your business, you do whatever the fuck you normally do, and then suddenly you're just hot. You're just boiling, like fucking boiling. And I get it like all down my neck and down my back and like in my face and like in my ass. It's literally everywhere. My entire body just like heats up and it's horrible. And you can't do anything about it. And it will come at the worst moments. Literally, I had like the worst hot flash I've ever had on a tube, which is like an underground train if you don't live in England. I was on the tube and it was like 7am and everyone was on the tube for work and it was crowded and I almost passed out. I had to get off the tube because I had a hot flash. Flash. It was the least enjoyable experience. What also comes with them, for me at least, is like prickly heat, so I get really hot. But then also, I don't know if any of you guys have had this, but prickly heat, it feels like there's someone's like sticking little needles in your back and your neck, and you kind of like, you try and scratch it off, but it won't leave because it's just coming from inside. It's horrible, and it's literally just from the hormones. It's actually because we're, when you start testosterone, if you're a trans guy, you're going through menopause and puberty at the same time. It's like two in one. So you can relate to like 12 year old boys and 50 year old women. It's my demographic. The third thing you should know about is kind of linked to the hot flashes. You'll be fucking sweaty. Like, so sweaty. So I was sweaty before I started testosterone. Like, I've always been kind of sweaty. It's in my family. My brother has really clammy hands. My dad sweats. I don't know about my mom. I don't think my mom sweats. I sweat a lot. I've always sweated a lot. But as soon as I started tea, it was like uncontrollable. Literally, like, a few months in on tea, I was literally, I just literally shaved off all my armpit hair. I was like, I can't deal with this. Like, I like having armpit hair, but I was sweating so much that like the hair, it was just, I just, I just couldn't deal with it. Like down my neck, like down my legs, like down my arms, it was like horrible, there's so much sweat. And I'm guessing I smell, I mean I probably still do smell. You guys have probably heard of the sweat and it's, everybody knows you get sweaty, but like this is definitely a dark side of testosterone because I don't know, I get it every time I have my shot, it's all the time, it's constant, it just doesn't stop. Fourth thing about testosterone that is dark, it's very dark, you get really oily, greasy skin and it's disgusting. It's finally calmed down for me, which I'm grateful for. Um, I didn't get it that bad. I never had like acne or all that shit, but my face was so greasy. No matter how much I washed it, I'd wash it and two minutes later it would be like greasy and I'd be like dripping with oil. You could fucking cook sausages in it. But now nah, it was actually grim, like every part of your face is just oily and greasy. And also like your chest, my chest was so greasy, I was still binding when I first started testosterone. So my chest was so oily and sweaty and gross. And also, what comes with sweat and oil and gross shit? Spots. The fifth thing that you want to know, the dark shit about testosterone, spots. This is very common. Everyone knows about it, still dark. I don't get acne, I never got acne. But when I started testosterone, my chest, like this part, this part of my chest was just covered in spots. Like it wasn't terrible, I'm sure people have had it worse. And it was, oh, it was in my back as well, my shoulders, holy shit. Like I didn't get this before I started testosterone, but like my binder would like, there'd be a strap here, and then you take the binder off and there'd just be spots everywhere. It was like I had an allergic reaction to my binder, but it was literally just sweat and grease and Shit. Like, it was kind of painful as well. Like I'd have like hard ones on my back and they like you couldn't pop them They were so hard. They kind of they like gone now because I've had surgery But I mean I still got a few 
<laughs> Thank you, testosterone. Another thing you need to know, when you start testosterone, there's this thing called a T-dick. If you're sensitive to talk about genitals, skip to this moment so you don't have to hear me. So a T-dick is when you take testosterone, your leg, your ass, any of that, and suddenly a very, very small penis emerges from where you used to not have a penis. Now it's not technically a penis, but it's, it grows. It's literally just a big, I don't want to say the word. I think I might just type it, I'll type the word. But that comes out of nowhere, literally started tea, the next day it was growing, and I was like, what the fuck? And it doesn't stop growing, that's the thing. That's, you already know that the tea dick is a thing. What you don't know is that it doesn't stop growing for like years. I'm like nine, ten months on tea and it's, it's still going. Noticeably going. And I'm not gonna lie, like, it's alright, like, it looks kinda weird, but like, it feels kinda good. But it's kind of scary because it just grows, like, it just keeps going. Like, I I'd rather grow in height than in that region. Like, I'm... You know? Oh well, yeah, and also, if you didn't know, it kind of hurts at first, like, it, it, for some people it doesn't hurt, some people they don't even feel it, but for me it hurt, because like, I could feel it the next day, so it must have been growing quick, but it just hurt a lot, like, <laughs> it was so uncomfortable. It felt like I'd kind of pulled a muscle, if you know what I mean? If you're planning to go on shots, which is the injections for testosterone, here's something you need to know. If you do it in your leg, your leg will hurt for days. So pretty much how it is for me, is I inject myself, it's all fine, sometimes it hurts a bit, but you just rub, you just rub it, and then it's fine. But the next day, literally 24 hours after you've had your shot, your leg just goes numb. Like, it literally feels like I've got a dead leg. And it lasts for, like, two days. When I got my first shot, I, like, hit a nerve and it lasted for, like, a week. It hurts so much. Like, I can hardly walk on it. But now, it literally feels like a dead leg and, like, you put weight on it and, like, your leg just gives. But, like, it really hurts and sometimes it gets swollen and sometimes you can feel, like, the testosterone deposits in your leg. You have to, like, massage it out. Like, it's not all smooth. You don't just inject it and you're, like, on your jolly way. You know, you're not. That's not, that's not how it happens. But, yeah, your leg hurts for a while and it bruises sometimes and you get, like, rashes sometimes. Sometimes. I've seen people get like massive lumps. Phoenix had a massive lump. It was ew. Another fun thing about testosterone, it's very hard to get. The only way you can get testosterone legally, at least in the UK, is you get referred to a gender clinic. <laughs> you get referred to a gender clinic, which will have a two year wait to get your first appointment, and then there'll be like another wait for a year for your next appointment, and then like maybe another six months. So it'll probably take you about three, three years to get on testosterone. That's difficult. That wait is horrible. But also, at the moment in the UK, there's a shortage of sustenance, which is the type of testosterone that most people use. There's a shortage of it, so people just can't get it. And to make matters worse, some GPs just don't want to prescribe testosterone. My GP refused to prescribe me testosterone for almost a year. They, they just decided they didn't want to do it. They've done it now, after very... <laughs> Several very forceful letters, but yeah, sometimes they run out of testosterone, sometimes your GP doesn't want to prescribe it, sometimes it just doesn't get delivered on time, your prescription doesn't get delivered on time, sometimes your pharmacy doesn't have testosterone on time, and that's important. It's important to have it on time because there's a specific day that you're supposed to have your shot, because it's supposed to be three weeks apart. It's just, it's not fun. One of the hardest things about going on testosterone for me was just waiting for the changes. Because I started on a low dose, like a really low dose, because I'm a diddy dumpling. Well, yeah, I'm small. I started on a tiny dose and I had to wait so long for my voice to drop or for shit like that to happen. Like, I had little changes. I was like, yay, I'm sweatier. Yay, I'm hornier. Great. When's my voice going to drop? That was the darkest thing for me because it took so long for me to get a voice drop. And I was doing voice updates to my YouTube audience, which is you guys. By the way, I'm not doing another tea update video until a year, because I, I, people keep asking. But yeah, it was just horrible having to wait, and then, like, 200,000 people being like, when's your voice gonna drop? And me being like, holy shit, I don't know, leave me alone. I want it to drop too, like, I can't control that. It's my body, leave it alone. That was horrible, and I know a lot of people on tea that haven't had changes as quick as they want, they've been on the wrong dose, they just haven't, it just hasn't worked out for them yet, and it's like terrible because you wait so long to get the testosterone and then it takes like maybe a year for you to be happy with your results. Right now I'm alright with how I am on testosterone. Still could do with a deep voice, still could do with more hair. Wish I looked better, but yeah. Last thing I'm gonna say is that testosterone will not cure your depression. I was under the impression that my depression... Ooh. Nice rhyming. I was under the impression that my depression was purely based around my gender dysphoria, which is silly, because it wasn't, because I had depression before I realised I was trans. I didn't think it would cure my depression, I just thought, you know, maybe I'd be lucky, but... I'm a lot happier now than I was before, but there's still stuff I need to work on, 
and you can't, you can't, you can't rely on a hormone for that to happen. But yeah, I think that's the video. Um, if you've got any questions about testosterone, I'd happily answer them. I'm not doing anything tonight, I don't think. Just comment below, but if you can Google the answer, you should probably Google it, because, you know. Right, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, I don't care. See you later, losers. Give it a bosh. Give it a bosh. Bish. Bash. Ha <laughs> ha.